Hello and welcome to Focus Content for the Allied Health Educational Solutions. Today we're going to talk about two very important components of medication administration and I really want to focus on this content. Very important that you know, do, understand, and apply this when you are administering medications. So it's the nine rights and the three med checks. Let's go ahead and take a look. So first let's start with the nine rights of administration. Number one is the right medication. And this means that you check against the order and make sure that you have the correct medication from the order from the doctor. Number two, the right dose. The order will also include the dosage for the medication that you're going to administer. And you want to make sure that your medication that you have pulled from the storage cabinet matches the medication on the order. Number three is the right route. So matching again to your order, you want to make sure that you're using the right route of administration. This could be oral, sub-Q. It also could be intermuscular, um, sublingual under the tongue. So you wanna make sure that you're giving the medication in the correct route. The right time. And there's usually different uh, things that occur here. So the right time could be the doctor came in and gave a verbal or written order to go ahead and administer the medication right now. Sometimes they'll come in and say stat because the, uh, it needs to be immediately and quickly. And other times it will be that the patient is coming in on a monthly basis and they're to receive this medication in the ambulatory care facility. So you just wanna make sure that the patient is receiving that medication at the right time. You wanna make sure that you have the right patient. And this is very important. We talk a lot about um, the fact that you need to identify your patient when they come into the room, but you wanna make sure that you identify them again when you're doing your nine rights. I have had a situation in my career where we had two with the same name, two people in two different rooms. They were eight years apart. So that date of birth is what verified that patient. And we were able to make sure that we had the correct ones because they actually got roomed incorrectly by name, but when they were verified by name and date of birth, we were able to fix it. So it's very important, not only when you're rooming the patient, but also before you are administering a medication to make sure that you have the right patient. The right education. And this is really important. You want the patient to understand the medication that you are administering. So you want to let them know the doctor that prescribed the medication what medication that you are going to be administering. You wanna to check to make sure about their allergies. Again, even though you've checked it when you first roomed them, before you administer, you wanna check on the allergies. And then you wanna let them know any side effects that they might expect. And if we're talking about vaccines, you also need to give them the VIS form and let them go over that and make sure that they understand and they can ask any questions prior to administering a vaccine. They do have a right to refuse the medication and that could be the patient or it could be a parent that is responsible for that patient or a guardian. If they refuse the medication, do not give them a hard time or judge them. You just want to let the provider know right away that they have refused the medication. If there was a reason stated, um, make sure when you do your documentation that you document that the patient refused. If a reason was stated, you can add that and um, just make sure that that is very clearly documented. The next one is the right technique. So you wanna make sure that you're giving the drug um, in the right route and also having the right technique in how you are administering that medication. And then documentation. Documentation is key. We will talk a lot about documentation in um, our courses and in our YouTube videos that we're making. It's very important that you document correctly, and especially when you're giving a medication so you can go back. And there's several things that uh, need to be documented 
um, here are a few. So when you document, you want to document um, the provider that had ordered. You want to document the medication that was given, how the patient tolerated. Again, if the patient had let you know of any allergies, that would also be in the documentation. And you can also include any coaching that you gave to the patient within your documentation. And then let's go ahead and move on to the three med checks. So anytime you are doing a medication check and you're about to administer this medication to a patient, you need to do the three med checks. So the three med checks include when um, you get the medication from the storage cabinet, it could be the refrigerator if it's kept there, it could be the storage cabinet, wherever that is stored. When you first take that medication out, you want to do that med check and make sure. So I have, have a little bottle here. So you want to make sure, again, that you have all those rights that are related to your medication, you're checking to make sure. But specifically, you're making sure that you have the correct medication and the correct dosing medication before you administer. Then also before you're preparing. So you're taking this out and you're going ahead and putting it on the counter and you're preparing the medication. So you would have your uh, tray cover, you will have a little cup for administering the medication. Anything that you're getting ready, you'll have all of that out. You'll get it ready. And before I take this and I say, okay, I'm going to open and pour, I just need one capsule out of here because it matches, it is two milligrams. I'm checking for that second time. Okay, because now I'm preparing this medication and I'm putting it into the little medication cup where I'm preparing it. And then the final time is before you leave the area wherever you were preparing the medication, you're going to put the medication back. And when you put the medication back into the storage, you're going to make sure one more time because our brains will see what they want to see. Sometimes medications are the same color and we go, oh, it's the purple label. So I know it's a purple label. I don't, it's fine. I know. That's the one time if you don't do those three medication checks that you will have different manufacturers having the same color for different medications. So it's very important that one more time, so this is your third check, that you go ahead and check and make sure that it is the correct medication and the correct dosage for what you are um, administering from that order. Okay, and I just want to thank you very much for uh, watching this video and checking out this focus content. You can find more on the YouTube video as well as you can go to Allied Health educational solutions.com and there you'll find all of the different services that I offer as well as full courses that you can take and you can also like and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.